The Nike City Edition program is meant to represent the nexus between community, court, and culture. When we first started thinking about this uniform two and a half years ago, we asked ourselves what story we wanted to tell. So when we look at it as a brand, we want to make sure we're leveraging this platform to tell the stories of the cultures that make up our community. We worked with an artist named Miguel Angel Godoy, who is a professor at ASU and also a muralist, to really collaborate and create this uniform and tell this authentic story. When we approached the design in the jersey, we looked at the demographic of who's coming to the games. And we saw that it was a lot of first, second, and generation Mexican-Americans. Phoenix Suns have a strong history and connection to the Latino community um, here in Arizona. We carried the Los Suns platform for over 10 years, and this El Valle platform is really an evolution of that. For me, personally, and many Chicanos, what we identify with is a lowrider culture, because that's something that is exclusively our own. What's great about lowrider culture is the success that it's had. Something that started here in the Southwest has now spread worldwide. At the Phoenix Suns, when we approach a multicultural campaign like this, we want to make sure that we're coming with a story that's authentic and coming from the community rather than being derived from them. So we want to work with tastemakers, people from the community, people that have um, a stake in the community that, that really can help validate the storytelling before we bring it to life. How are we going to represent a whole culture, right? This idea of ni de aquí ni de allá. You know, we're not from here, we're not from there. And it really describes what it's like to be part of the Mexican-American experience, where you're not Mexican enough and you're not American enough. And so we wanted to focus on telling that story of what it's like to be bicultural and really allow that story to influence the design details of the uniform and help us tell the story and bring it to life. What inspired the script-like font is a couple of things. Um, when you think about Chicano typography, when you think about the type, uh, you know, that's something that we created on our own as well. And it's a lot of it, a lot of it now has a lot of script. Thinking about car culture and thinking about like the Chevy and the Ford logos, um, all those have this really nice script as well. And so we thought about how, we thought of how could we merge both of those worlds. And that's how we created the El Valle wordmark. We really wanted to celebrate a culture that's been created here in the United States by Chicanos or Mexican Americans that really describes that experience, which is what brought us to lowrider culture. So the side panel, when, when we think of a panel, right, you're thinking of the paint jobs on cars, right? You're thinking of all the panels and all the body of the car. And you think about all these intricate candy paint jobs on them. And so we approach the jersey in the same way, right? Building it up through panels. And so that side panel represents one of those candy paint jobs. When our fan base sees this uniform, we really want them to take away that, you know, every design detail was purposeful and intentional and that we put a lot of thought into it. And it's really just something that we want the community to feel proud of and represented. I think about when I first saw it, right? and how proud I was knowing that there was an NBA jersey with Chicano culture on it, with a lowrider paint job or lowrider culture on it. That's exciting. With all of our cultural campaigns, we always wanna make sure that there's an education component to everything that we're doing. When we presented this uniform to the players, we made sure that they understood the cultural significance. Just understanding our fan base and you know, the majority of our fan base is Chicano. Um, I think it's super important, you know, to embrace that. It's amazing, you know, for me, because it's a different demographic than where I'm used to and from. And so I'm definitely excited that I get to embrace a whole new culture as a whole, educate myself and learn more about it. But um, to be welcomed with open arms has been amazing, but I'm definitely excited to pour back into the community. I was blown away. Um, just the level of detail that was put into it. Fan base is full of Chicanos who's been supporting the Suns for decades, so it's only right that we honor them as we play. Not only to embrace it with a jersey, but teach at the same time, you know, have the staff, have the players out here with people that are actually rocking around the city and have been embedded in this Phoenix Suns organization for a very long time. So, you know, I always say I feel like I was adopted by the city and, you know, all these guys have embraced me and took me in. And, you know, it feels like family. Lowrider culture has often been stigmatized. And the way the El Valle jersey destigmatizes those notions is through being intentional, right? Being pur purposeful behind the work of telling the story through, through our lens, using this platform to share our cultura.
you know, it wouldn't be a lowrider inspired uniform if we didn't actually build the lowrider that inspired the campaign. We worked with Devin and his team to, to really build this car in collaboration with Bugs. Bugs is a staple in this community and, you know, he's doing work on a couple of my cars right now and for him to put that together in eight weeks is something I've never heard of. Like I told him, man, I hope this could be a staple that, you know, the, the fans embrace, you know, moving forward. You can do some pretty dope things with it. We're hoping that, you know, we're bringing a sense of authenticity to the program by creating this vehicle. What I think I want people to take away is that same sense of pride of knowing that there's, that we're out here, we're out there, we're represented. Like that's, that's huge. It's giving me goosebumps talking about it now.